Alright guys, you're going to see me play completely reckless in this game because it's a free tournament, honestly. Why not just play around? It's Madden's dead at this point. <laughs> at this point of the year, I'm just going through the motions with it. So, we're going to be running New York Jets on O and 4-6 on defense. Okay. Now, this guy's running this trio offset. It's the four wide receiver one. You won't see it on Mutt because it's not needed in Mutt because you have speedy tight ends, but you'll really just see it in regs because you can get an additional receiver at the tight end position. I don't have a clue how to run it. I don't run it, but you'll really just only see it in regs and no other game mode at all. Right here, he was late on his user, so we're going to go ahead and take the post route. Now, <laughs> I don't know what it was about this game, man, but Tavon Austin was dropping catches and... Uh, unfortunate things right here now this is the first time i've ever ran that counter i've seen people run it before i don't know how you run it at all uh, again because game's pretty much done uh i mean we're almost into summertime a couple months away uh, why not just try some stuff out that you've never tried before now right here we're gonna go ahead and run burkler sweep originally i had it as an 01 trap but uh, the setup that he has right now i don't know if that's the right way to shoot the trap i probably should have just tried it anyways but we're gonna go ahead and run the buck sweep at id his user so my o-line should target him specifically they do but he completely gets ignored he, they missed their block oh well all right moving on we're gonna go a third angle i'm not an offensive player never have been probably never will be and i don't know if i'm gonna bother playing madden never, ever again uh. I hate Madden 21, the fiery passion. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and just basically see if we can get Bowser this game and go over the top. He goes ahead and puts a curl flat out there. We're going to go a little ball Aaron Jones. Air truck to see if we can get a little bit of turbo boost and we get down to three. Now, again, because this is a free tournament, I didn't really care. I didn't have to pay to enter into this at all. It was just simply, hey, whoever wants to join, go ahead and join. So, you know what? Might as well just full send yeet it, right? And right there, Valdez Scanling just can't get any sort of separation. Maybe if I wait long enough, it breaks down quicker and he can get a little bit more separation. I, I don't know what I could have done right there. Probably should have stood in the pocket. But right here, he's going to be running a lot of this just bubble alert screen or whatever it's called, okay? I don't know what it's specifically called, but right there should have been a pick six. We dropped the pick instead. I haven't clicked on and hold Y. Oh, well. EA is going to EA. Now, fourth and one, you know what happens on a fourth and one when you get a pick six? Tell me in the comment section right now. Now, I go ahead and move that guy down. I need to move that outside third out because the outside third is not going to play an outside third. It's going to act like he's playing a deep half, but he's not. He's not. He's playing an outside third. Don't know what happens right here. We man up the guy that motions over just in case he runs it as a slant. He doesn't. I'm assuming it's now a curl route. It is not. It's an out route. There's nothing open right there. I don't know what the uh, user was doing, but you know what? <sighs> oh, well. That's how games go some days. When you get the pick six, they get the conversion. That's just, that's, ah, I love this game. I love this game. I love this game. There's a reason I don't do live commentary because every single video, every game I play, they would get demonetized. <laughs> Straight up demonetized. I don't ever do live comms because of that. But it's called yeah, Gun Trio Offset. That's what it's called. Now, this is the first game I've played. Uh, I don't know when the last game I played was. Been a while. I have honestly no idea. But right here, we're starting to adjust a little bit more to the RPO. I've noticed if you move the hard flat down and kind of inside to the middle receiver, they play the little bubble a lot more because they tend to get ignored. Don't know. I don't know how that makes any logical sense because you can't play man defense against these RPOs. But I guess you can't specifically pay cover one or cover two, but all of a sudden if you play cover zero, the man defense works. I know Clint sucks at his job. I don't think he was willing to accept that, but he sucks at his job. But the logic behind that is illogical. A cover zero versus a cover two man, they're both man defenses. Just one has safeties over the top. The other, it's no deep zones it, it shouldn't affect how the man defense plays at all but it does so a little tip of the day for rpos you do need to play cover zero if you want to stop the bubble and you want to stop the run at the same time you just got to learn how to get run defense out of cover zero so right here bad user i knew i knew he was gonna look for that slant the entire time because it's gonna get over the top of the cloud flat it's gonna get underneath my 25 yard seam flat uh, i a bad user right there but you see right here i'm gonna go ahead and change my flats to 10 uh, because I'm not, I don't really think he's going to run that bubble a whole lot more. I'm really not concerned about the bubble. If he runs the bubble, great. 
He can have it. Um, I just don't really care. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get that bubble up until he starts running a little bit more. But right here, he actually is going to get it as close down to the two-minute warning as possible. Playing that true clock. Um, and this this is when you know it's demon time. <laughs> Short side trips. Um, obviously, this is going to be another motion over slant. It's not. It's that RPO buckler bubble right there. You're shooting the gap, but we don't get any sort of tackle. Number 52 is running around with his head cut off. Uh, I don't know what he was doing in that situation, but the two-minute warning comes around, and we basically just got to get a stop. Now, I feel like I've, I've been getting robbed a couple times. You guys are going to see some really wild BS that's going to happen later in this game, but I'm going to go ahead and drop my flats down back to default because it is second five. There's a high probability that he's going to go ahead and run that little RPO alert bubble thing is what it's called. Or our pure trap alert bubble. I don't know what it's called, the exact word behind it. But we're going to go ahead and set up for that. Now, right here, this is an outside third, okay? I need to move the outside third out because the outside third is going to act like it's a deep half. Now, I watched your video. It is not a deep half. It is a outside third. I don't know what he was doing. It's like he was playing the seams or something like that. I don't really even know if it out, a shade to the outside would have helped at all. But... <clears throat> Right there, we man up that curl route. I originally thought it was going to be a motion over slant. We get blessed. Now, right here, you guys are going to see me get absolutely hoed by EA. It would not be Madden without EA. We roll out, okay? We roll out. We delay fade, and we throw to a wide open tight end delay fade. And, well, both guys jump up. I wish my players would do that. And EA is going to EA. <laughs> That's all I got to say. So we're going to go back to that same exact play, okay? Delay fade, hitch out for a playmaker. Forces the user to decide what is he going to guard. We're going to go ahead and playmaker the little running back because now I'm absolutely horrified to throw the delay fade because I feel like they're going to jump up yet again. And we're going to go and take the check downs. We're only down to seven points, second and ten. I'm going to be jumping a lot of this video, okay, because it's a lot of just check down, check down, check down, check down, check down, check down. Like B is going to be wide open right here. I can get over the top of the hard flat. I can get underneath seam flat. But yet again, Aaron Rodgers does Aaron Rodgers things with Gunslinger. Why Gunslinger is broken? Beyond me, Clint. You explain that, you idiot. And we, he gets a straight up overthrow. Not right there. I have claw flats. Okay, probably put a hard flat out there that take care of the tail route. Don't know. Maybe my guy, my Rashawn Gary, 86 speed, is a little too slow to cover that. But nothing open, nothing open. We'll play perfect coverage. I probably ought to send the spy. I send the spy, and right there, my user literally gets swerved out of position. Okay. That pisses me off. That's happened more than once in many different games where for some odd reason, if I hold Y and I'm running straight towards where the little icon is telling you where the ball is going to be at, it will just randomly swerve you out of position. So that should have been a pick. I was holding Y. I was running towards it. Don't know. Maybe I don't have ball hawk or heat seeker, whatever it's called. I don't have that turned on. All that stuff is turned off. Auto flip turned off. Okay. Pointless to have it right here. I, I don't know why what I was doing right here, but we go ahead and, as I was talking about, the outside third doesn't play the outside third. Curl flat should be there as well to help pass it off to the outside third. Don't know where it was. He takes a delay game, and, of course, we're going to go ahead and accept that. I don't accept the second delay game. I'll accept the first one, but I will never accept the second one because you have enough time within 30 seconds to get your audibles, get your personnel all set up. Heck, that's actually you have a whole minute to get that all set up and get the buttons fast enough. You should be able to get it done. So right here, that's a good, a good stop right there. We hold them to fourth and, like, seven. Yeah, fourth and seven. Now, but you know what? Why not go for it here? Again, this is a free tournament. I would definitely go for it if it's fourth and seven. I'm up 11 points. I, I just, I don't, I don't care. It's a free game. It's a meaningless game. Basically a friendly game to me at this point. So why not go for it right now here? We get clicked onto the wrong guy. I don't know why I'm clicking onto the guy in the seam flat, that little slot corner. I don't know why I did, but for some reason I decided to. And I actually am looking for the slot receiver right here. That was my responsibility the entire time, and that's why. I was looking for the slot corner or slot receiver the entire time because I knew he was going to send him on a streak, and I had everybody else manned up. There wasn't going to be anything else open. And uh, you can kind of see what happens when you get clicked onto the wrong guy. I don't know why I was clicking onto the seam flat. I can't really tell you. Maybe it was an accidental click on by the game. I, I don't know what happened right there. So we're going to go ahead and now basically be down 18 points when we should be like 17 to 20 right now or 17 to 21 with two pick sixes. But oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Moving on. We're down 18 points. I just chopped out a lot of it. We just got. I, 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 I could have probably drove a little bit faster. But right here, 
I'm just praying that for once EA blesses me. Like, please, please, Clint, bless me with a fluke catch. Something like that. I don't know. Goal line is the hardest place to score, especially if you're a bunch player, because there's really nothing to throw. So I'm going to go down to this iPhone Pro. This is actually somewhat stupid how good this RPO is. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but it really only seems like the way you can stop it is if you drop your safeties into spy and you user it. Otherwise, I don't know. It's just a glitchy RPO for some reason. I just discovered like a couple weeks ago. And right here, Aaron Jones, <laughs> thank you, fight for me and get us within 10. Now, I probably ought to hurry it up a lot more. You see right here, we're under two minutes. We got a timeout to go. We can't use that timeout. And now basically we got to score quick. Uh, let's see, let's do the math real fast. 13, even three would be okay, but that forces us good for two. We got to score quick here, and we basically got to get lucky and get an onside. Now, I was praying to the Madden Gods the entire time. I'm like, please, Lord, please, whoever it is that's over this game, bless me one time, please. So, right here, I actually wanted to look for a cover three beater because he's been playing a lot of that Mike Blitz three. Um, so I was, I was really considering how I'm like, Jets dig, Jets dig, do we do it? I'm like, yeah, oh, let's save it for maybe we'll get a little lucky with a cover three bomb later. Uh, right here, looking for why, why is wide open. We're going to go ahead and hit inside the little curl. I think that's a curl flat, seam flat, something like that. And uh, three wrecks. So we're going to go ahead and now start hurrying up. Uh, basically, just got to get something going. Now, right here, I believe he mans up the running back. He mans up the running back. We take the little out route, get out of bounds. We almost get hoed again right there, but <laughs> you know what? I think that's something about Gunslinger. I think that's one thing that's kind of broke about Gunslinger is just receivers not animating to the ball or just doing some really wild stuff. So we keep in mind he mans up the running back. I'm going to hit this little smoke screen again. So if he mans up the running back, he follows him. Essentially, running back now acts as an additional blocker. It doesn't really work out how I was hoping it would and, well, forces us to run out of bounds again. So... Only down 11. Basically, we got to get EA to bless us on the onside. Otherwise, I mean, that's pretty much GG's. But we're going to go ahead and try our best right here. I don't really have a specific play for double Mabel. I just like to attack the middle of the field again and again and again and again. Right here, we're looking for Devontae Adams in the little slot receiver, a little hitch route. Bang, bang, moving down, chains down, down, down the field. We go. So, again, time is clicking. We've just got to get three or seven here, okay? Seven is ideal. Three is okay. We're looking for Devonta Adams. Red zone threat. I'm basically just looking to chuck it up. We maybe had it, but right here, EA, finally, thank you, Clint Oldenburg, with your garbage game, your terrible, terrible game. Like, you idiotic developer, okay? I wish nothing but for you to get fired. Uh, they finally bless us. They finally bless us, okay? 17 to 21. I feel like should definitely be a different ball game, but I, 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 I probably should have hurried up, you know, probably should have. But you know what? It's a free game. Why not just go ahead and just try some stuff out? Now, right here, never ran this before. We're going to see how good it is. We get really bad blocking, but how somehow we're able to fall forward. We get, we get tackled from behind, but this is game. We don't get this onside kick. GG's. We get this onside kick. We can go for a cover three bomb. We kick it. Hoping it bounces off, and well, it goes right into his hands, and that's going to be game. We go ahead and quit out. There's no reason to continue on, and that's going to take care of this game. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you are new, and we'll see you guys in the next one.